we're back on Tuesday one of training today, so we're doing some resistance spits in the morning and then I've got a gym session in the morning we're doing some like power peak sets and some other things as well. So I'm about to get into the sprints, I'm doing resistance sprints as I said, so I'm just gonna toss back to this uh, how many like power shoots or like need to actually get like resistance sprint reps in. So it's gonna kinda make do with what I've got. Um, I've ordered some parachutes, so hopefully when they come we will be resistance for the fair, but I have to make do with this, so I'll just get right into it. So it's part two of the session today, so I'm just getting the power cleans in and some squats and bench press. So I guess you'll see those, so just working at I think 90% for power cleans and then after that I'll do a few singles as well so looking forward to it I think it's going to be a good session because my power cleans feel quite good today so let's see how it goes So it's day three of the vlog, so I reckon that dunk camp merch today. If you want to get some, go to dunkcamp.com. I think they've got like a shop bit on the site and you can like buy some dunk camp gear. So yeah, anyway, apart from that, so I've got a session today. So it's a track session and then it's also a gym session. So I'm going to be doing some sprint float sprint, which is basically like all out sprint for like, I think like 30 meters or whatever then like a float for like a period where you kind of just maintain speed and then I've got a kind of all out sprint again at the end so should be quite good it's going to be 90 meters in total so also I have a gym session as well so I'm going to be doing some power snatches so I've not snatched for about like three months now maybe or like two months something like that so I'm looking forward to those as well so that's about it I'm just going to get straight into the workout though So my workouts today have went all right. So I had the sprint float sprint, which was 90 meters, as I explained earlier. So um, it went quite well. I ran like a 12.3, so I'm not really sure where that would put me um, just with a normal sprint. I guess it would be a little bit quicker than that, definitely. But I guess I'll just have to see when I test it next. Also, I clocked the first like 30 meters. It was like roughly 19 steps is how long it takes me to do 30 meters. So I clocked that at about 4.3, so not really super quick to my standards, but 
again I wasn't really wearing like spikes um, I wasn't really going like all out I was just kind of like testing the waters but it went quite well um, looking forward to next week I think I'll try and go a little bit quicker again but I guess we'll see next week and also um, the weight session so I had my power snatches today I was really happy to get those in because I've not done them for ages and it just felt good yeah they went well so I worked up to just like 36 kilos so not really that heavy but it's like not too bad that's what the program told me to go to so so i think my snatch one rep max should be in the realm of um 60 kilos as well and the scottish junior record for the weight class that i would be in would be 63 kilos for snatch so i think i should be close to that by the end of the year but yeah apart from that it's been a good session i'll see you guys next on friday for some sprints and weight room again and then jumps on saturday so we are back round to friday it's training day number five of the week so wipers just went off there but yeah so i'm going to be doing some hill sprints today and then i'll be in the weight room doing some clean and jerk and some bench press as well so it's not really a crazy intense day it's quite a light day so it's quite good to do this and kind of like i don't know i guess recover a bit from all the hard training that i've been doing the past few weeks so I've got jumps tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a dunk session I think on 9.10 Hoping to get a lob dunk, but I guess we'll just kind of see how the session goes Never really know how it'll go until we actually do it, so Yeah, feeling good today though, I'm hoping for some fast times in the 30 meter hill sprint So yeah, get straight into that So I just pulled my hamstring in the sprints there, so it was the fourth sprint in when I pulled my hamstring. I'll show you that just now. But basically, now I'm onto the weight room, so I'm just going to kind of do what I can do within reason. So I think I'm going to change to hip cleans to make it less hamstring dominant, so that it doesn't really aggravate my hamstring, and then I can do bench press, and I think I can probably do the other two, but obviously I'll kind of just like feel it out and see how I'm feeling. But I think the main thing to take away from this hamstring injury, and this is something I've said in the past, is like, as long as you can take something away from an injury it's not really something that's necessarily bad and um, so what i've taken away is sprinting three times a week is probably not for me 